Okay, hello and welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up your first programming assignment. Your first homework assignment was 11 C, which was modify the original program to operate so that the manual push button, pressure switch, and temperature switch all must be closed to energize the motor starter. So if we read that closely, we can see that we have three instructions that are all going to be connected in series that would be required to be closed to start the motor starter. So first thing I'm going to do is left click on rung 00, turn it red. The red means it's in edit mode. And if I come up here and I left click on the XIC instruction, that puts it into my program. If that doesn't work for you so well, you can always left click and hold this, bring it down, and when it turns green, it's an instruction. It's sort of a suggestion for you so that you can drop it and let go. So all you got to do is left go with your mouse. Left click again, bring it down. When it's green, let go of your mouse. So we've got our three instructions in series. So all we need now is the output. I can left click and hold the output, bring it down, and drop it and let go. And notice that the output came way over here to the far right, and that's correct because outputs are always on the far right and the last instruction on your program. So now we just need to go ahead and address these. First of all, we click on the instruction, left click and that gives us a black box. We want to double click right on the question mark. And for this particular program, I'm going to make this the pressure switch. So I'm going to call it I colon one slash zero and hit enter. Okay, that's the address for it. Now if I click it again, put the black box around it and then right click and hit edit symbol, I can put a description on it, P or pressure switch. and hit enter. Okay, now I want to address this one. So I left click, puts the black box around it. I left double click on the question mark and I'm going to make this the temperature switch which is I colon one slash one and hit enter. Okay, now it's addressed. I'm going to left click again, right click and then edit symbol and we're going to call this the temperature switch. and hit enter. So we got two out of the three. Last one, we just left click on it. We left double click on the question mark and our last instruction is the manual push button and that's I colon one slash two, hit enter. Okay, and then left click again and then right click to edit the symbol and we're gonna call this manual PB, which PB is just short for push button. Okay, all of our input devices are now programmed, so we need to come over to the output. We do the same thing, we left click on it, puts the black box around it, and then we double click on the actual question mark, and now we're ready to address. So, O for output, colon, two, forward slash, bit zero, and hit enter. The address is there, now we left click again, we right click and we hit edit symbol, and we'll just call this the motor and hit enter. Okay, so our program is actually there. It's ready to go. It could be downloaded to the PLC. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to change toggle between the PLC control panel. We're going to hit download. Okay, so it downloaded and now we're going to click on run. Notice that this animation comes on immediately and we can just click this and get rid of this. Okay, because we need the I.O. simulator. So we're going to click on simulations, click on I.O. simulator, and again, if it doesn't pop up, you just click the X here. Okay, notice our program changed, though it came out of program mode, so we need to go back to run mode, and now we're ready to test our program. So we click here, we see that this input becomes true, we click on I colon 1 1, and this input becomes true. Last but not least is I colon 1 2. We left click on that and all of those switches are now closed so they're all in and configuration and the motor O colon 2 0 comes on which we can see that it came on here as well. So if it's in and configuration any one of these if we open it will make our motor go off. Okay so that is how we would set up this particular program. To save this program you need to go to program mode 
And now we would just go up here and we would click File, Save. And this program was actually named PRG underscore one underscore Logix Pro. And this was one dash one C. Okay. And then you just save that in an area that you're can comfortable with and can get back to later. So just hit save for now. One last thing that I want to show you how to do is to add some comments. So click on rung zero and then hit right click and then hit edit the rung comment. So you would put your name here usually on the very first one and then a brief description of what this rung does. This is a and configuration for controlling a motor and hit enter and then you can see the actual little descriptor is right there so last thing after we added that we want to save again so now we can just click save here there's our description we just hit save it tells us if we want to overwrite you could overwrite it or you could rename it as something else as well Okay, so that is how we would do our very first programming assignment. Hopefully you found this helpful, and we'll continue on in our next lesson with how to do the programming assignment number two.